right, we're back here on Liquid Lunch. Uh, we're uh, oh, geez, we've yeah, got some move, uh, right? decorating yeah, gonna... going on. We've got a great big tree in their way. Let's see it. Just that's the live TV, live internet TV. See, hi, <laughs> welcome tree. Uh, <laughs> is that who's behind that tree? Is it Cheryl? Yes. <laughs> You're gonna fix all that. And Lori is here. Do we have Lori? Yep. There's Lori. Lori can be seen. Cheryl's got a big tree. Well, maybe this oh, one, uh, there she is. <laughs> Let's, uh, okay, great. So you guys are from, uh, what's your company called? Or do you have a company? Or is it just you guys? It's, it's uh, my company is Hope Designs. Okay. And Cheryl has her own company, Cheryl Koss Staging and Design. But okay. we work together on many, many projects. Okay, I was just going to wonder, how do you not, how do you, you know, Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's, uh, so you, how come you work together? Aren't you like always like uh, fighting with each other to uh, oh, you know, no, get no. the customer? There's lots of work to go around for all of us out there in the staging world. We, okay. need, we need lots of bodies, lots of muscle. So we often, it's, it's not uncommon for stagers to work together. Okay, then, well that's great. Um, now, what, what's the role of a stager? How does it differentiate from an interior designer? Yeah. When you're interior designing or decorating, you are personalizing a space for a homeowner. Uh, when we're staging, we're depersonalizing the space. We're creating a space that will work for the masses that are coming in, buyers that are looking for... Um... Go ahead. I was just going to say, staging is directly related to real estate. Yes. And typically, a stager comes into play when a home is for sale. So realtors will office, often bring us in when they're listing a property. We would come in prior to that and get the house ready. We would give tips, suggestions to the homeowners, live, leave them with a long um, honey-do list. And from there, if the seller is interested, we would, we would stage the property. And that's the part you see on all the TV shows. So, but that also involves an element of having, you have to know design and you have to be able to put a room together. That also means you have to be up on current trends. Yes. So let's talk holiday trends for inside and outside of the house this year. I know there's a lot of funky colors out there. So what are some of those trends, the colors and environmental stuff? Well, for the exterior, I think if anybody drives around any of the neighborhoods or any of the storefronts, you'll see the large urns. They can be made of any material, but the ones that you often see are the big cast iron urns, black. Um, they're being decorated and, and uh, done up in various ways. We have some photos, actually, it's some before and after shots of, of uh, some of the work various urns that, that we've done and also people on our team have done. Okay. Um, the first one shows you, um, well, that's a, yeah, the first one here shows you, this is um, one of my colleagues. Her name is Tina. She works with me a lot. This is the front of a home that we did um, approximately a week ago. So this shows you that cast iron urn. The next shot is where Tina has literally oh, wow, brought this urn to life. Um, she's used a lot of seasonal greens that you can get either at any of the local florists or nurseries or you can get them at any of the big box stores. And if you'll notice, the big trend this year is using a lot of the um, large the branches. Birch, birch. The birch trunks are yeah. very popular. And so, so is that a trend back to the more traditional? It is very traditional this year, I believe. Yeah, yeah. That the last... colors are traditional, and and people are trying to use the environmental theme by bringing in natural sticks, branches, the the, the birch stumps, and adding you know their ornaments. So this is not just a, a holiday thing, right? This is a, like an overall staging thing. Or am I missing something? No, that's a that's that's holiday, and certainly when Winter. you're staging, it's a it's a seasonal thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you're staging over the holidays, then absolutely bring that in and and make the front of your home for your curb appeal yeah. look wonderful for the season. So what about some of the funkier colors uh, too? I know that's reflective of the traditional, but uh, today you see a lot of the funkier blues and the turquoise is very yes. hot this year. Purple is very hot this year. Gold is also very hot. And silver. And where is this trend? Where are the trends coming from? What's the influences on yeah. this? Where do these colors come from? <laughs> I asked that for you. Hugh. I know. Thank you, Jeanette. <laughs> I think they come from. I think they come from fashion. They come Absolutely. from Italy, Milan. The last guest was, was talking about Milan. I think 
most of the fashion houses create the trends and they follow through into home decor, decorating, design, that kind of thing. Um, you'll see makeup trends often follow suit with regards to decorating. Um, staging for the holidays is a little bit different because we don't often recommend that you necessarily do stage your home over the holidays in the sense that you have it staged to sell it, but we don't recommend a lot of extra adornments, decor, that kind of thing. We, if you are going to be listing your home over the holiday period, we usually suggest that you keep the, the decor very minimalist. Um, certainly if people want to have a Christmas tree, that would be up to them. If they want to do their mantle, something like that. But we wouldn't have, um, we wouldn't recommend baubles and Christmas lights, etc., all over the entire house. Yeah, you don't want to get it too busy, is that it? Right. It's just too cr uh, crowded and uh, right. cluttered. That's a big exactly. part of it. Right. And I think also um, you don't want to date the photos. In other words, people are shopping online to purchase houses on the MLS system. So if it does, if the photos are taken in that month of December and the house is all lit up like a Christmas tree, literally, and decorated in that way, if the house isn't sold at that time, excuse me, and it goes into January, February, which oh, yeah. sometimes can happen, yeah. um, not if we've done it, of course, but <laughs> um, touch word. But if that's the case, then you don't certainly want those photos out in February of all the holiday decor. Yeah. So that's a big part of it as well. Okay. You also don't want to um, m make the house only appeal to one type of person or culture or religion. You want to keep it very, very open-ended and uh, very neutral in that way. And if you're planning to keep the house, um, how can you just stage it up nicely? Like you brought some stuff to show us. Uh, how can you use some of these things or some of the things you might have from one year to the next, incorporate it into the decor of the home for the season, inside or out, so you're not always spending a fortune every year? Exactly. How, Recycle how? Is, is the way to go. Okay. Recycling what you have. This vase that I brought, you can add pine cones, you can add Christmas bulbs. Um, that's what we do a lot. You can add your seasonal greens so that you're creating a beautiful centerpiece on your table, but you're not using anything new. You're using renewable greens. Um, and you can put pretty much anything in there. Garlands, crystals are very hot. Um, what I like to do is cut the dogwood branches, which is what I brought in, but it might be a little too tall. Um, putting the sticks in, you can hang baubles from the sticks. It's, it's awesome, the things that you can do with the ornaments that you already have so that you don't always need to go out and buy more. And what do you have uh, material-wise for The ribbons are just... This is a very popular mesh ribbon right now that is... Um, that is being sold everywhere. I mean, you can buy this stuff everywhere. And you just, you know, make yourself a nice, funky bow. And like I said, gold is a very hot color right now, coming back. And you just make yourself a really nice bow. And it's not very difficult to do. People are intimidated by bows. but I'm you intimidated just, just watching you do You can that. just squeeze them in between your hands, and you tie a wire onto it, and look, wow. And something like that I can brought be used, a wire. It can I be brought used a wire. on your mantle. It can be used exterior or interior it can be used on your um staircase on the door the door almost swags anywhere. over a garage swags over a light post a banister absolutely yep. yeah be beautiful or even uh i was thinking like if you have these things around the house and you're trying to add some umph to your christmas uh, decor your holiday decor how would it work to use something like that which is like a mesh as a table run and then decorate it in between instead well, of Well, you could. I guess you would need to weight it down a little bit because it, it doesn't lay flat. Something? Absolutely. Candles, um, lots of the, the crystal diamonds that you can buy. They're very shiny. They reflect the beautiful candlelight. You can buy those giant diamonds. You can buy little glass balls. I mean, there's all kinds of things you could use Where to weight it down. Where can you get some of that stuff? Um, in any of the seasonal decor stores, the big box stores sell them, garden centers. You can get anything, flower shops, of course. Craft stores. Craft Often stores. Dollar yeah. stores even. Dollar yeah. stores have, yeah. yeah. And amazingly enough, in the thrift stores, there are a lot of things, which to me is very environmental. I picked up that vase for $2 in a oh, thrift wow. store. It's, I love it. Can I use it at, at home. It? Yeah. Let's just look at that lovely vase. <laughs> <laughs> Leaning on the chair. 
Yeah, so there, it's just, you know, I had some gold balls and some pine cones. You could add any color in there. I love adding sticks to it, the seasonal greens. You could even put water in there. It will last you for the holiday season. Um, you can add garlands hanging from you. It's, 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 it's easy. amazing. It's what, cheap. That's right. It's cheap, and it's you can easy. use what you yeah, have at home. Nice. And to me, that's environmental. You can get a lot of that stuff out of your backyard. Right? I did. Yep. Yeah. Yep. How much does uh, something like that go for? Well, you know, I saw a roll of this at Sobeys the other day for fourteen ninety nine. So mm -hmm. it's not expensive, and it's really awesome. And if you use it outside, um, it's weather tolerant. So it's durable. just as all your greens are. When you make an urn, they will last you for the whole entire winter season. Maybe after Christmas, you take the shiny baubles off, the oversized ornaments, and you keep it clean and green, and then it will last you the whole winter. You could even do it up and give it as a gift. I mean, that's a pretty inexpensive sure, gift. Sure, absolutely. Put some personalization with a r ribbon or something to it. It's, it's nice. I, the, I gift a lot of things like that. I make a lot of things and gift them. People appreciate it. You've, you've put some effort and mm -hmm. you can even and it's put some lovely. Or something in it. Sure. <laughs> you know, we did one I'm, once. We did one once similar to this, and we put the dogwood in that we've kept behind here because it's too large, but we had the dogwood in the center and then we just attached tiny little Christmas balls. So it makes a huge centerpiece. It's very yeah, pretty. They're, they're stunning. And with the way Cheryl's done it in this way is if you choose to, you can get completely, you can get rid of the gold balls, for instance. If your decor happens to be red or green, you can mix different color balls. You don't have to use the pine cones. So it's a very simple solution. You can use- um, Crush, the, the crushed crystal. That's any really of the nice for flash. I noticed, uh, I don't know if you guys ever go to Dollarama, but uh, there's stuff you can get there. It's like a beautiful little, thing. Yeah. Little glass pieces That's and right. stuff like that. Yeah, yes. we it's use amazing stuff like that what you can time. put in there. Absolutely. Yeah. I was thinking mm -hmm. like you could put a tablecloth down, run something like that over top, like mm -hmm. a runner, put some crystals, maybe some snowflakes or any kind of thing, winter motif. Lots of candlelight. And then, and then a centerpiece, and you'd have the most amazing table. That's with right. Some china, all done. It'd be up. beautiful, and you can See, tuck in some greenery as well, just bits and pieces, and it's very pretty. What you could also do with the end is you get yourself a, a dowel stick, and even glue it on with a glue gun on each end, and that will help to weight it down, hanging over the edge of the table. So that's a crafty way to. If you to want put to use that, that as table. a runner. Yes. Yeah, these are awesome. Very hot this mesh stuff right now. So. Um, just roughly speaking, like to create something like that, uh, can you do it for under thirty dollars? Absolutely. Yeah, so that's pretty cost effective. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I cut the dogwood and greens from my own backyard. Lots of people can do that. You can go to any garden center, big box store, and buy a bundle of greens, um, pine cones. We can pick them outside. You don't need to buy them. You buy yourself a little bit of ribbon, or everybody has ribbon at home. You can make smaller bows, bigger bows. If you had old Christmas decor, old uh, Christmas wrapping, um, even like old Christmas carts that, you know, from years ago, could you cut them up or incorporate them somehow? How would you recommend doing something like that? You could. I cut up old Christmas cards and use them for gift tags for the next year. Oh, that's handy. Mm -hmm. yeah. I do. <laughs> or you can cut around the shape. If, yeah. if there's a snowman on the front, for instance, you can cut around the shape. If you wanted to, you could wire that up onto the dogwood and, and hang it off as an ornament. You can just about do anything. I'm, uh, or even a paper mache type of thing. Mm -hmm. and, and the I kids can help that, with um, that. Yesterday I saw something on the news about Hallmark is celebrating their 150th year, I believe, or 100th year, and they had um, and they went with retro uh, decorations for their store and they were using cards from the very first, like just whatever they had, and they cut it all up. It was really interesting. Yeah. And they had stuff from the 50s, 60s. It was really interesting, actually. Yeah, yeah they do some neat fun. things. We have a few more pictures, too, if you're okay. interested. Yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look at those, uh, if we can. This is one. So this is an urn. Um, I work with an event company, top event company in Toronto, Creations by Gita, and this is compliments oh, yeah, of her. her. She's yeah. Very good. Yeah. yeah, I've been working with her for 20 years, and they're, they're awesome. And this is something that um, she has done this summer for a client, uh, this winter, sorry, for a client. And as you can see, the birch is very, very big. Um, a lot of people are using it. We even saw it driving in today all over downtown. And you add giant oversized pine cones, oversized uh, ornaments. It's fantastic. And then anything that's flashy in there, I would say after Christmas you take it out and that will last you the whole winter. 
the greenery will stay yes. fresh she and green. She also does a lot of the mall decor, right? Uh, no, she not a lot. Some. We used to oh. years and years ago. You're right, but not anymore, no. Okay, I know her and her daughter very well. Actually. Oh, there you <laughs> go. It's in a small world, I always say. Yeah, nice. yeah she's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we have another one uh, we can look at here? Yeah, there's, a, there's some matching urns. They're a little bit smaller at the top of the stairs. Um, the bigger ones are down at the foot. And then, of course, the wreath on the door. Everybody has to have one of those. And with Christmas, you know, the sky's the limit. You can go over the top glam, or you can keep it very seasonally simplistic. Whatever it is you like to do, it's not wrong. It's beautiful. And why not show the flash? Well, glitz is in now. See the sequence. Absolutely. And reflective on all the clothes, like you said. Yes. The fashion. Yes. Right? That's another one that incorporates one of the um, kale or the cabbages, the ornamental cabbages. They don't tend to last right throughout the season, but you could replace that when it starts to get very cold. But it shows you the height, the sticks, the different greenery. It's a lower urn, but again, it can go almost anywhere if you've got a balcony. Um, you don't necessarily have a huge front, and urns, front foyer. Yeah, urns are easy to do because you can go and buy the actual insert at the garden center and you just plop it into your own urn. So you don't have to make it from scratch. But if you do, that's a simple thing to do as well, as long as you make it before it freezes. And once it's wet, it'll freeze for the winter and stay that way all, all season. If you choose to purchase it that way from one of the big box stores, what I always suggest is it, it, it comes that way, it's the base, it's, it's much more simplistic that way if you don't have an opportunity to go cut your own greens, but what you can do is personalize it yourself by adding some of the pine cones, one of the big bows as Cheryl just oh, yeah. showed, that kind of thing. You can add some of the huge, big, they're, they're sort of a plastic in nature now, but they're overscaled um, baubles and um, some of the big, big round pieces and you can add that to it crystal garlands I've also seen like berries and sticks yep. and stuff like that if you don't really if you're not really a fern person or if you're bothered like let's say asthma or allergies or something like that you can use those things too yes in the home berries. yes beautiful yeah okay is there anything else uh, any more pictures we we want to go through guys yeah there's a few more pictures if let's if go through like them quickly because uh, we're running out of time here but uh, let's talk oh, about that's nice. uh, if you could just talk about them as we that's go through. That's the mantle. Oh yeah, that's just a mantle where it's an artificial garland and you add your bows and pine cones and ornaments. And, and, and what I do sometimes is I just stick them in between and just, it's not gonna get touched by anyone. So you can add anything to it. There's a glass vase there as well. And it just, it looks really super. That's another mantle where there's just greenery used and what you do is you attach all your glass balls yeah. and it shows you some candles, it gives you some different color ideas. So really you can mix, mix and match it to suit your decor. You guys have a, a, a knack of sticking the balls in all the right places. <laughs> there you go, eh? <laughs> it's a woman's touch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all so, lovely. And that's just a centerpiece? Yep. That's a Creations by Gita centerpiece, but let, so that you can see, you can pretty much put any colors together and create a beautiful seasonal theme. It doesn't have to be green and gold and red, even though, you, you know, those are popular. And and Absolutely. And that one includes some roses, which is very pretty. Yeah, and orchids, yeah. Oh, orchids is typically a summer uh, type of... Not, not nowadays, it's, no? it's all year. All year. Okay. Yeah. So it's good that you can see the blend. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the next one. This is just showing you that anything that you can get from your local um, grocery store, for instance, that big ivy, I use that year after year. Sometimes you can, you can mix and match different bows, and then there's um, a nice little plant, and I've, put, I've matched it with an acorn, that kind of thing. You can switch that up. That can go on any table. So it really doesn't have to necessarily be holiday decor, but you can mix and match it, and when you add bows and lights and things like that, that actually looks like a topiary tree, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is not, I have them actually you know, throughout the home. You can get them in different, yes. different, yes. Know, like the ball type. You can get the standard long type as well. It's yes, and nice. they're really pretty, and, and you can, can add anything here. to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. The last shot was again just a variety of different Christmas balls put together, showing you a different theme. You can no. add your silver and black and white. Okay, so you guys are in the the home staging business. 
primarily, but is there, you know, we're talking here about a lot of the seasonal holiday stuff that you're doing. Like, do you go in and consult with people about that stuff too? Not necessarily for home staging, but for other purposes? Yes. Okay, yes, well, like what is it? What, what do you call that s aspect of your business? Seasonal decor. Okay. Some people bring us in to do their mantles, yeah. their Christmas the trees, trees, give them just, idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Placement. Yeah. Placement is always a big issue, and where should we do it, and exactly. where would it be most practical? Some people just don't have an eye or an act they for don't, that. Yes. And yet, maybe they're having a big uh, function. function. They they need to impress everybody, and they need to have it done right. And and, and set up table decor yeah. for big parties, absolutely, and bring in the fresh stuff and the flowers and you know whatever it is they need to help them create that perfect ambience. And sometimes it's a time factor too. People just don't have the time That's to do right. it all up. So yeah. they'd rather hire somebody. To so do why this. not save time and get it done really right? Because <laughs> I, like I said, you guys have a real knack for placing all those balls in the right spots. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they're professionals. <laughs> We've been training for years. <laughs> Okay, guys, that's great. Uh, great to, ha to have you here today. Uh, are you whispering to me no, there? No, I'm just going <laughs> because I can't breathe right now. I'm actually quite allergic to some of this. Oh, stuff. I'm no. sorry. That's yeah, okay. There really? you go. I'll get yeah. it out quick. Well, listen, it's, okay. uh, it's, it's been great to have you here and great to see the Thank work you. that you do. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. And uh, let's give people out your web uh, information if they want to get in touch and have you in to stage their home or to just get ready for the holidays. Okay. Uh, Lori? Mine is hopedesigns.ca. Okay, hopedesigns.ca. And uh, Cheryl? Mine is the Cheryls.ca, and it's S C H E R Y L S.ca. It's like the angels, only Cheryls. What there you it, go. What is it again? S the the Cheryls.ca. S C H E R Y L S. It's a long story, but that's the website. I was going <laughs> to ask you if there's another Cheryl. There is, there was. There is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, Great. Lori and Cheryl, thanks for coming in today. And Thank you. Thank you. Getting us ready for the holidays. And I just want to say in closing, I want to wish all the viewers a very happy holidays and all the guests and everyone here at Liquid Lunch. And um, I'll be back on January 17th for the New Year's show. And if you get a chance, uh, the article I just wrote for Women with Vision magazine is on stands now. It's uh, simplicity, simplicity, simplicity. And it's in this issue of Women with Vision magazine. It's on stands now. And that's the winter issue. And again, I do have that giveaway for the uh, blueprint to market and m promote your business properly for the new year and make your business boom. So let's do this, Jeanette, in. with that. Let's okay. let's give out an email address for that too, okay, because it's, it's going to go up online afterwards. Okay. And people might be seeing this after the fact, right. and they might want to have okay, that too. Okay, so, so I'll give you my that. email. It's Jeanette J A N E T T E at your marketingmagnet.com and my phone number is 905-882-6893 and it's been a great holiday show gr it full of great been. information and great guests yeah and it's been another great year with you hugh and it's you jeanette fun. thanks for uh, doing this today and uh, just bringing up the festive uh, temperature around here <laughs> kicking it up a notch getting ready for the christmas season Bring holidays the holiday kwanzaa Hanukkah, which is over now. Yeah, Hanukkah's over, yeah. But we still have some Hanukkah gals. And you're, yes, now, you've eaten them all up. <laughs> <laughs> you've eaten all my Hanukkah gals. Okay. All right. Uh, thanks, guys. Thank Again. you. And that's it for the show. We'll see everybody tomorrow at noon for more Liquid Lunch right here on thatchannel.com.